So, welcome back everyone for the next part of Adrian Odyssey Untold. In the last part we had a tough battle with the Manticore and in today's part we're going to tackle the other quest with the mysterious girl in the forest. Now I'm not really sure how I'm going to reach that since it seems like I need to do something on the 7th floor. But then again, it seems like I just need to uh, go to that shortcut, probably. So, okay. That is a shortcut that I need to unlock, which means... Which means... I might actually need to go to the door now. Since there was pretty much no other way to climb back to the seventh floor. And so far I have been avoiding opening that door for a very long time because the last time I opened up a door, a special door in a Svadal, it led to the golem. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I guess it's finally time for us to actually go through there, right? Okay then. First and foremost, I guess I am going to kill that end pretty quickly. What a nasty enemy! Otherwise, I would be forced to actually walk the whole way around again. Is this how to take it down? Is this a possibility? Okay, that's going to take forever. Uh, which weakness? Ice. Then you can just shoot him down with uh, delusion in order to decrease his defense. Uh, now, I guess Alpha still needs to hit one more time. Here goes. There you go. Much better. Now I don't even need to worry about the other foe. Great. So let us see. Uncharted territory. Am I able to find some treasures around here? Since we are already on the way. Doesn't really seem to be anything special around here though. So that it was a tree by tree room going towards the right side. Do I need to worry about FOEs around here or is it just simply a corridor leading us all the way back to the seventh floor? Here Probably, it comes. Most likely. Let's finish this quick. No. Oh! Oh, we have new encounters. And the question is. Are those uh, tough encounters or just a regular bunch? Wait, you don't really need to escape. Just go for the sleep pollen. We're going to spark them away and then uh Force Bridge or the loot. I guess we're going to go for the loot. Onward! A perfectly executed with the headbinds. Okay, they don't really seem to be that bad. Like, really, they don't seem to be that bad. Spark away and shoot in the center. Yeah, going? they are, they are. Maybe I should have visited this place Ooh. a little bit sooner, huh? Yeah, I should have probably visited that place a little bit sooner, I think. If I remember right, I had that quest for a very long time. But since it was 50k, I was kind of scared about it, you know? <laughs> I mean, the golem had like 10k. And he literally kicked my butt. This Let's time around we have 50k in the Manticore did in fact cause yeah. a lot of trouble. Right? Oh no! Now. So in that regard, <clears throat> it makes sense for me to be a little bit worried about this, right? So weak to fire and weak to slash attacks. Good to know. Then we're just going to slash away. And then uh, inferno with this, I would say. I won't miss. Yeah, that's strong enough to deal with it. Great. Let's see. Is that going to be a long corridor for us to reach the staircase? Because so far, I didn't really see any type of treasure or connection points. Uh, just able to go further to the north, which is probably just going to lead to another dead end. Or maybe not. Okay, that is interesting. Do we have events around here as well? Don't really 
think so, but we can hope, right? We can hope. It's here. Let's finish this quick. Now. Anything special? Not really. Okay. Train trust. Front gut. You can just use the, the sleep column again. We are going to use Inferno and then just shoot it down. There we go. The firestorm is just way too strong, right? <laughs> way too strong for those guys. So it seems like this is pretty much connected to the other corridor. Meaning if I go further to the south, we are able to reach the staircase. Great. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now. Oh no. Well, uh, I um, in fact uh, haven't haven't really brought any. But then again, didn't I got a guard soil from? Uh, I think I already boxed that. No, no, I still have it. Good, good. Since uh, right, <laughs> we are back on the, the second stratum, which means uh, this is the point where we're actually going to use some. Uh, God soil, huh? Is it a bear? <coughs> it spotted us. Not quite, it's just an elephant. But an uh, elephant is really that bad, right? We can pretty much avoid it if we want it's to. Us. Or we can just uh, fool it in order to trick it into stepping into that small corridor. So. That was pretty much it. That was a short floor. But I guess that's just supposed to be a corridor leading further upwards. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it seems like this uh, this whole thing going upwards through the other floors is just a, a very, very small room. One, two, three. One, two, three. Circle in like that. Nothing hidden inside. And the staircases are already there. Looks like two tiles is probably connected like something like this. Yeah, I don't really see anything special around. Did okay, further up it is. Cool. Is that going to be a little bit bigger room or? But then again, we only have a small corner. I guess the whole gimmick around here is uh, navigating through the moors, but on the other hand, moors are level 2 foes, or rather stratum 2 foes, so in that regard. <gasps> A shiny one! Yeah, I can't. Oh dear, oh I cannot dear. even avoid it, actually. It's awesome. And if that is the case. Oh, this isn't looking good. I guess it's just going to sit it out until the moors are going to join. Give me a second, this is going to take a few turns. Let's go get it looked at. Okay, one thing I learned. Action boost changes targets if, uh, if the enemy dies. I wanted to wait one more turn. Wasn't, able, uh, wasn't really able to do that. Here it oh well. Comes. Oh, this isn't looking good. Now. At the very least, now I can just simply shoot it down, right? I don't, I don't really need to wait for it. Most of the time I just spend waiting around for that one shiny more to show up and then I screwed it up. <laughs> but then again, it wouldn't really have given me so much XP, right? I mean, they are still, in fact, only level 2 foes, so in that regard... Can we finish mapping this floor? Cool. In comparison to the other foes in the area that... Oh god. Uh, in comparison to the other foes that are in the area in the fifth stratum, the XP from the second stratum force can't really compare, right? Now, as you walk through the poison marsh, you suddenly hear the shrilling voice of a young girl echoing from, fa uh, from afar. Could the rumor of a young girl living in the forest be true? You decided to take caution as you continue on ahead. That's a lot of damage tiles. Okay. 
So in general, I just want to... Uh, God. Uh, I just want to reach the shortcut from the looks of it. Meaning... I can pretty much ignore the elephants. For the most part. It's seen us. We have some green tiles ahead. But we're not going to worry about them just yet. That is red as well. Two tiles ahead. And the corner. Okay. How much am I already hurt? A lot. That's good to know. I mean, as long as we don't run into an encounter, it should be fine. But why the heck are there so many da damage tiles around here? This is kind of crazy, Me. right? Does that help? How's that? How's that? Seal up really quickly, just in case. I mean, it's already orange. It's red. Then we have one green tile. Go further with the red. Come on, I just, I just want my shortcut, okay? I just want my shortcut, nothing else. How does it look? Still fine. Two tiles, then we have a little bit more green around the area. It is completely circled in red. Enemy. Let's make the first move. Onward. And they just wow. die. Well, Thanks, Arthur. Thank you very much. I don't even need to waste a peep. Oh, Thanks to I that. <laughs> and I got a new item. Hey. Right. So, green, red, green. Okay, that seems to be a very, very big area. And I don't even want to know how many damage types there are around here. <laughs> but hey, at the very least, now we have a shortcut. Which is good. Very well. Now I'm not Does really forced help? to go all the way around again. So let's see, if I circle along, I should be able to get a clear picture it's here. of the area. What a piece of cake! Onward! Are those firebirds? Yep. That's kind of bad. Uh Twain Trust. Front guard. I'm going to go for the sleep. Then we're going to use freeze through and then just uh I guess we're going to go for the volcanic Just stands because they are literally weak to the piss text, right? That well. And they fell asleep. Good. Better. Should we get going? So many idols. <laughs> Way too many idols. That's crazy. That is literally crazy. So let's see. Two tiles of damage tiles all around. Then we have some green tiles surrounded by even more red tiles. Ah, okay. Uh, I guess I found the boss. Uh, that's that's a nice surprise. How was my Very HP? Well. Does that help? Decent. Still, I would love to see if there are any treasures around before fighting uh, Get ready. against that thing. This one right could be a there. Now. Oh man! Okay, Mr. Elephant, how was it? 3k? That doesn't really sound so bad. No weakness. Could be a little bit annoying, but actually it's still able to fix that. Am I able to put you to sleep? No, that's a question I would love to know. Or maybe stone. Stone would be funny. Actually, is this. And we're going to go for another egg. Over here. Wasn't quite enough. Okay, spear assist. Front guard. Hit. Fire. Arm side. You're in my sight. Here goes. There we go. One turn. See, 8.5k. That's not really a lot, right? So, it seems like the wall goes down from here. 
Then we have some green tiles. Red tiles. And only one treasure chest. Okay. And I can already see the stairs all the way in the back. Like, look at that. You see it? Right there in the corner? It's crazy how far you can see in this game, right? I can literally look pretty much to the to the other side of this room. All the way from there to here. That's <laughs> crazy. Okay. Let's continue onwards. It's a monster. I just, I just to took one on step. Alright. Thanks, Arthur. This time around we can just uh, we can oh, just run fine. away. We don't really need to fight against all of them. So let's see. Damage tiles. Then we have a green tile followed up with even more red tiles. You can see there's another green tile all the way across, followed up by even more red tiles. Hello elephant, you are a little bit standing in my way, just saying. The wall continues on like that. Two tiles towards the left side. Followed up by even more red tiles. And actually that wall is extended by one tile further to the left. Okay. That doesn't really look so bad. Then we have even more damage tiles. Scroll that in like this. Green. Two tiles? Three tiles, okay. Three tiles following we do? in. Then we have another green tile. Now more red tiles. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I guess at this point we can pretty much uh, color the rest off screen, huh? <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much just clearing out the area in order to see which of those tiles are damaged tiles and which of those tiles are normal tiles. And what is that? Someone help? You can faintly hear a young girl's voice crying for help. Following the voice that led you to a door deep within the poisonous march, it would appear that the girl's voice was coming from behind this door. You can, cho uh, you can choose to search for the girl or leave this place if you want. Didn't really expect to see a person around here. But I don't really want to enter that place just yet, so how about we heal for a second, save up our progress and then <laughs> open up that door, huh? Since there's always a chance, the second I enter, mm -hmm. I might need to fight a monster right away in, in order to save a girl, right? You never know when this game decides to literally force you into the battle after a cutscene, you know? You never know, it can happen anytime. Which is kind of like the funny part about this whole mess. <laughs> okay, so saved, healed. And there are a lot of elephants around mm -hmm. here. Okay. So since we are already round, I'm going to color this in as well. Green tile. Red tile. Two green tiles, followed with another two red tiles. Then we have one green tile, two red tiles, and that was pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, the rest I'm just going to color in later. I don't think they're, they're going to hide any more treasures around here, right? Probably. Anyways, little girl. Welcome, adventurers! You can talk? As you pass through the door, you hear the high-pitched voice of a girl. However, you see not a girl, but a monster that appears to be some fusion of woman and plants. What happened to you? This monster lures you here with its cries. 
As the quest described said, uh, description said, there was a girl voice. It just wasn't being made by a girl. What a cheap trick. I'm not gonna go easy on it just because it's a girl. It's hard to fight something looking like that. But you can't let it go loose. It's already done so much damage. Ray, let's do this. Okay, they don't really force me to a fight. That's a good thing. So I was kind of worried about that. I can already see more damage tiles. And this time around, I can't even pretend to try to get the back attack. Since uh, the water tiles are in the way. Okay then. I mean, I already saved. It's a monster. Let's give it an attempt. Now, now. I'll round, huh? Okay. Let me think about this. The last time I fought on a Raune, I had actually a lot of fun thanks to my dogs. So let's go to the backline. I can go for the booster defender right away. And you are going to use the analysis scope so that I can see which type of weakness it has. But on the other hand, if it is the same as with the other flower girl that I had to fight, then she's probably weak to all kinds of ailments, binds, and fire. That is if that is actually the girl that I that I have in my memories. Okay. Uh, boost. Ah! We're going to go for bloody offer right away. Me. Then we're going to go for this boost. One's mine. Delusion. Got and of course, boost. Forest breach. How could I? Now. How's that? Damn well. It, damn it! Damn it! But it doesn't look so good. <laughs> Uh, Arthur, go to the back. Let me see that. I didn't even use my... Oh, she's quicker than I. She was quicker than I. Okay, wait a second. Uh, defense. Analysis go. Arthur, would you be so kind? Arthur! How comes you, call, you always kill the guy that literally is trying to see your weakness? Huh? How comes? <laughs> if I might! I... Uh, uh... Huh! Yeah, I have golem flashbacks. I have golem flashbacks here. <laughs> um... <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> Just, just asking, uh, is that supposed to be possible? Let's give it another chance. I, I, at the very least, I want to, I want to see uh, the stats, okay? <laughs> I want to see the stats. Word. So, okay, okay, this time around, this time around, I am going to be the one who actually, uh... Can I bury this? Uh, this time around, I'm going to be the one who actually is going to use the, the analysis scope. Just to make sure that I'm actually able to uh, get that out. Illusion. Boost Force Breach. Over here. Are you down you yet? actually decide to go for me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why is it every time the... the... Oh. 22k. Okay, that thing already has more HP than the Manticore. And I unlocked the Manticore afterwards. After her, that's for sure. I, I unlocked her afterwards. Which is a bad thing. Alrauna. 70 attack, frost smile, lightning, tentral drash, royal wine, velvet. She's weak to fire though. So I got that right. A fusion of the forest folk and a fla- Ah! Oh, okay. Okay, I see why she uh, she lures us down here in order to kill us. I would also become a little bit angry <laughs> as uh, as one of the special uh, force folk people. Force folk and a flower. It attacks are 
as ferrets as they are deadly. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay, the last time she she tried to trash around. Boost. I'm going to boost my defender. There it is. Defend again. Lady right. off the back. Ooh. Did I use the illusion or did I just defend? I'm not really sure. Anyways, analysis. And I'm going to force breach again. I'm with you. Again? Ah! Okay. Okay. I see. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Okay. Uh, action boost. Was that the frost smile? I think that was the frost smile. Maybe she's going to go for lightning next. All right. At the very least, the Simon needs to revive our Ricky. Ooh. We're going to go for extra as well. Simon. No. It's too early to no. give up. No. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. not gonna happen, huh? Yeah. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha, flower girl. I understand. I totally understand. You do, you do not wish to be fought yet. You want you want a rematch like uh, like Golem, huh? I can I can totally understand. You're special. I guess you're something like a queen around here, huh? <laughs> but it is a bit surprising that she uh, that she's in the in the forest like that. The first time we encountered the forest people was in the third stratum. Maybe she's moving up like uh, like the bears in the nightmare part. Maybe. Anyways, uh, let's just go back to the twenty fifth floor, right? Yeah, let's let's just go back to the twenty fifth floor. That was pretty much the last quest we could technically do for now, since uh, I have no idea where the red is going to be. Meaning, we can start our exploration, right? Totally. I still have like. 15 minutes left so at the very least we can already start traveling a bit so okay let us start so first and foremost uh, the left side was already cleared off which means we're just going to stick to the right wall and see what this is going to lead us and there is a cutscene after all okay that was a bit weird I was wondering where that is going to show up We've come pretty far. This is on the bottom floor, right? Yeah. Well, that's what Ren and the Luft girl said. Hmm. Judging by the layout of the strata so far, we should be drawing quite near. The realization that you are closing in on your goal heightens the tension in the air. True, mm. true. Are you still worried about something? But of all the group, you notice that only Ricky seems troubled. So, uh, what are you thinking about? Um, After all this time, I'm suddenly scared. Will this will help us? And can we really destroy the core? The girl nervously lowers her gaze. This might be an opportune, uh, opportune time to say something to her. And we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We also defeated the Manticore, right? Even though it gave us trouble. There has to be a way to defeat the core as well. <gasps> Ray! On hearing your answer, we cannot vigorously. Yeah. You're right. We'll be okay. I know it. And I'm sure Mike will understand too. Thank you. Thanks, Ray. Let's go. You and Ricky take confident stride forward together on your way. Right. Now. What are you going to do with this floor now? Huh? <laughs> are you going to throw pretty much every floor at me? I mean, technically speaking, as a final challenge, that would be fun. Especially a combination of the mantis and the bear would be interesting. But then again, I'm not really sure how they would include something like that. <laughs> Since uh, the mantis Let's navigation get... and speed- Onward! Unbelievable! Ugh. Okay. That's a bad thing. 
That's a really bad thing. Train trust. Front guard. Defend. Spark through, I would say. Uh, south. Not okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, we survived. I was worried for a second because, uh, you know, rare breeds. <laughs> I, uh, I usually what tend to die during Does such a counter, especially with a back attack. But not this time around. Yeah, I guess I'm going to stick with uh, Salvation, or rather Salve, on uh, Ricky for a while. It is kind of useful to give her, or rather to have uh, a healing spell on her, right? So let's see, we can go further to the south from here. But it doesn't really seem like it leads anywhere special. By the way, you notice something run through a hole in the wall. It may be the tree red you are looking for. Oh, it's already here! Oh, uh, sure! You place the shears on the ground in hopes of luring out the red. A red appears, but it's obviously hostile. The red ignores the chase and rushes to attack here comes. you. Uh. Not liking this enemy. Onward! Cool. That did the trick! That wasn't the right red. And it is a random new red. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, defender. I'm going to hit you with the uh, Rubus A little bit of fire and a little bit of arm snipe, I would say. Okay, the red is a lot tankier than I thought it would be. <laughs> And yeah, a lot back. tankier than it should have been. I look forward to the appraisal. <laughs> it seems this, this red was in luxury. Oh, what's with that? Uh, and I thought we had him. So are we gonna gonna keep people king? If you don't hurry, we'll leave you behind. Well, that's what we're hired for. Now stop complaining and let's get moving. You're not a Simon and continue your search for luxury. Huh. Yeah, Very it would well. it would have oh. been a bit weird to find her right away, right? But now I need to wander. Uh, in order to complete your monster codex, do you also need to find all those uh, fake reds? I mean, technically speaking, that was a new encounter, ah, right? This is my time of day. And in that regard, if you finish the quest without checking that one spot, doesn't that mean that you are literally trapping yourself? With an unfinishable task, since uh, there's pretty much no way to encounter that thing again. Unless, of course, in this stratum, those threats are a random encounter. I mean, technically speaking, that is a possibility. But I also heard that it is quite possible to completely miss uh, that one encounter with the bee. Let's with the bee boss. If oh my god. Now. What is that thing? For eyes! No wait, there are eyes! How can you see? The eyes are behind the horns. It is impossible to see anything with that. Uh, what was I? Alright, uh, if you don't kill the, the beef servant in the beef fight, even though I'm not really sure who wouldn't go for the beef servant, since uh, they, uh, they have the agility buff, but if you don't kill them at least once in that fight, you, you have to. You can't really complete the codex, right? At all. You can't complete the codex at all. Anyways, a bloody open for the back. Front guards. Sleep power. Uh, I guess we're going to go for Firestorm. And I think I would really love to get the arm uh, right at the head bite for this guy, huh? Oh, I got it! Oh, great! So, spear assist to this. Front guard again. Arbot Confusion would be nice as well. A little bit of ice and arm side. Didn't get it. <laughs> okay, he's pretty much dead. I'll do my best. Of course. Of course, now I get to go in fur. From the very first oh, board that I ran into, I got to go in fur. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, those quests. Those quests. <clears throat> Okay, let's just continue forward. I can already see the first uh, FOE in the area. 
But since it is blue and patrolling one set of areas, I would almost assume that that might be another bear from the looks of it. Okay, we can go further to the north from here. But then again, this could technically lead us to a shortcut, which is a good thing. Meaning, if I'm lucky, I can cancel out that encounter. Travel back to the 25th floor. And just like that, I don't need to worry about it. Good. Even better. Okay, next up. We can go even further north from here. Let's see, so far it's pretty much a giant long corridor. There's another crossing, one going further to the right, one going further to the north. And I'm not really sure in which direction we need to go, but uh, I would almost assume yeah, we probably need to go to the left side, but there might be a treasure towards the right side. I kind of want to check that out. Watch yourselves. I mean, it's clearly not going to lead to another shortcut. But at the very least, I might be able to find another treasure. See? Already worth it, right? <laughs> and that is... Well, I don't really need that. The enemy. Don't let it get too close! Now! Okay, what exactly can you do? The Fang Flurry. A boar with four black tusks. Its powerful attack will pose a challenge for even the hardiest hunter. And that's bad. Uh, fang. That means headbind was a good thing, right? I hope. There Bloody out of water back again. We're going to protect the front line. Delay here just in case. Freeze through. And we're going to go for the headbutt again. Yeah! Yeah! We need to headbutt that guy. That was a little bit too strong, don't you think? Hmm. Raging Tusk. Oh god. Heal is coming along. Let's go for the seal head. Freeze through. Then again, it doesn't really seem like it's going to be effective. You'll head snipe, fine. please. Yeah. Okay, I got the stun and I got the head snipe. Even better. Now we can just normally take him down. Okay, the head bite isn't going to work against that. Would that it were all Okay. Like but even it is called Fang, right? Fang flurry. It should have worked against that. The Fang is related Very to the well. mouth, right? How's that? Normally, it is related to the mouth. Okay, and uh, Ricky, use self as well. There you go. I want to lower the burden on Simon a little bit. I'm kind of tempted to check out the other corner as well. Ah, you know what? I mean, there's a chance Lachette is waiting for us. <laughs> right? There it is. A chance that my uh, that Lachette might be waiting for us. We notice something running through a hole in the wall. It might be, or that may be, the tree red that you're looking for. Please check it out. A red appears, but it is hostile as well. The red ignores the cheese and rushes to attack you. Be careful. The stone. Is this the same kind? No. I'm serious. Is that visible? Is that a visible encounter? Huh. Wait, what? French Shaw's mouse. Not even furious. Just... Okay. <laughs> okay. I see. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to the back for a second. Perry. Let's try to put them to sleep. We are going to buff up Arthur. You can firestorm through and I am going to delusion them. There we go. That did a lot of damage. Seems like they are weak to fire from the looks of it. Let's defend, defend, defend. Another firestorm, and that should do the trick. How about this? Yep. That did the trick. I even got a silver stone from that. Well, it seems like that was a lot as well. Ah, wrong again. 
The sludge has some real pain in the butt. Let's go. But she's in danger down here. We need to find her. You nod in agreement with Freaky uh, and continue your search for Lache. So, but before we do that, what is Simon is the so kind. And actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of rare to run into a silver good war, right? Is that passive skills? Or maybe there's just a lot of s skill slots in there. Yeah, there's a chance there uh, that that might be uh, one of the bigger, uh, the bigger Grimoire stones. Right. But it isn't quite golden yet, which means it isn't quite uh, one of those rare seven slot stones. Long corridor going to the left side. <sighs> the TP isn't so good. Should be fine. I should be able to handle at least one more encounter. Yeah, I should be able to handle at least one more. Now I wouldn't really like to pick another fight with the reds Here it comes. if I can help it. But one more should be fine. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally, totally fine. Uh, defender, delay heal, action boost. A delusion. Ooh, Raguna, that's the first time you might have almost died. <laughs> right? That's the first time she almost died. Okay, sleep pollen. We're going to burn Stop. both of them down. If that by any chance works. A uh, force breach at the very least. I need force breach. Yeah. That didn't really work out. So, so tanky. It's incredible. Head pierce. Maybe I can instantly kill him. Would be funny if I could. Palladium. Uh, fire. South. Just do my job. Let me you. Score one for us. Okay, I wasn't really able to get the the instant dead. Ooh, that but we still work. survived. That's all that counts, right? Me. Okay, revive him for a second. Uh, Ricky, would you be so kind? We need a few medical bullets. I don't know, solve, and that should do the trick. Okay. Let's see. I wouldn't really want to pick my luck, since uh, our TP is already kind of low. So let's see how far we can go from here. And see that our encounter doesn't really get into the red again. We could go further to the north from here. Or try to go further to the south, but then again. Huh. I mean, technically speaking, we do kind of want to go further to the south in order to reach the next shortcut. But there might be treasures to the north! <laughs> ah, shoot, you know what? Uh, I mean, the path's slowly reaching this end anyways. So in that regard, we can check out the, the south area first. Just to see in which kind of direction we need to go soon. And uh, which kind of encounters we need to face. Like, uh, can we already have a sneak peek about the FOEs around here? Or do I need to do something specific? Oh my god! What is this? What is this? <laughs> what? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. In this corner. In this corner alone. Okay. I see. At the very least, we have another treasure, right? Divine gift. Great. Huh. Still, it's a bit worrisome to see so many falls around here. But oh well. Still orange. Okay, let me see that. I'm not really sure if there's an opening going further to the south from here. But there might be an event waiting for us in that corner. Which in fact has a chance to be the red again. 
But we need to figure that out in the next part, because slowly but surely, our time is running out. And I don't really want to risk the biscuit. I mean, my TP is really low already. And the encounters around here, especially the giant boar, hits like a truck. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun with today's part. And see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bye!